Let us be patient. Let us patiently wait for the promises of the Lord. Apart from the promise of entering the kingdom. Apart from the promise of the Lord coming in the class to take us to go and be with him. Apart from that promise, whatsoever thing the Lord has promised you, please wait for it. You cannot be a soldier of the kingdom without patience. You cannot be. Now listen, Acts of Apostles chapter 14 verse 22 says, Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. Through much tribulation. It is not through much enjoyment. It is through much tribulation. Even Jesus Christ, did he not suffer? Jesus suffered. Before he entered into glory, he suffered. So why do you think you don't need to suffer? We will suffer. We are already suffering. We are already suffering. But we have the hope of eternal life. Hang your faith on that hope. Hang your faith on the promises of God. And tell yourself that no matter what happens, I am not giving up. I was telling a couple two days ago. I told them, I said, a lot of people who are married have not actually invested into their marriages. They have not invested in, in, in the life of their partners. They have not. That is why every time I'm, I'm done, I'm tired, I'm leaving this marriage. <laughs> if you have really invested in your partner, you will not easily give up. Some of us, likewise, we have not invested into, our, into this kingdom. Like if some of some Christians are asked, what have you done for this kingdom? If you die today or if Jesus returns today, what can you lay hold on and say, I will lay this at his feet as my trophy that this is what I suffer for his name's sake. Or this is what I sacrifice for his name's sake. There are lots of people who have nothing to present to the Lord. Remember, the only crown that Jesus Christ wore on earth was a crown of thorns. He purchased life for us. And this life, though it is free, we live in a dark world with the arch enemy of God. He wants to stop us. And that is why we need patience to press on, to push forward and not give up.